All right, I'm back. And I found some more of these vintage hockey bricks of cards at a local antique market. Um, yeah, these were dirt cheap, so let's get right in and see what we uh, find. Um, in the background, I have these 2010 11s. I think they're supposed to mimic these, sort of. But yeah, let's see uh, if we can get lucky. It's probably going to be mostly commons, but it would still be fun, especially for the price I paid. Um, if there was a bossy or an ore in here, it would be hilarious. I, I have found similar thing to this at this place before, and it did actually have a bossy rookie that came back. Uh, it was a KSA 7, so... It was kind of shocking, but sometimes you find stuff in the wild. Uh, sports card, or it's actually a toy show that I'm going to uh, on the weekend, but they have cards and other collectibles. That should be fun. And then we have the big uh, Toronto Sports Card Expo in November. Those are kind of what I'm looking forward to. All right, let's see what's going on here. I really like these uh, 80, uh, 79, 80s with the signature. This one has a, a mark on the back. So there's a Dale McCourt rookie card when they have the little uh, faux signature. These cards are always off centered and super rough cut, but I still like them. Got the airbrushing going on, the 70s hairstyles. So we'll saw the Islanders logo. <laughs> it's not going to be in here. There's a, uh, maybe that's Tony Esposito in the background with the cool mask. Bob Murdoch, there's another uh, Islanders, pretty interesting. It says unsigned free agent. And they put the traded or they even put uh, now retired on the OPG versions. Yeah, these are these are kind of like mid-grade cards, not horrible. Some rougher than others, but yeah, these are surprisingly nice. Lots of commons. I think this is an airbrush helmet. Flyers to penguins, yeah. Pierre Bouchard. Elaine Daig. Terry Martin, uh, French Connection. Oh, I'm getting the wrong. I'm getting the wrong name. Richard Martin is who I was, was thinking of. Buff. I saw the Buffalo uniform. Yeah. I think Martin played for the Leafs after this. Terry Martin. I think so. Keith Magnuson. I think he he died in a car accident, unfortunately. Dave Farish from the Rangers. I always like to look at the stats because there's you'll see the odd guy and you'll look at the back of their card and you'll be like, oh, okay, way, way better than I thought. You don't hear some of these guys, uh, these middle-of-the-road players after they kind of retire. Now with flyers. That's funny. Somebody wrote it in pen. Thank you very much. <laughs> Sil Apps, uh, Sil Apps Jr. This is Sil Apps Jr. 99 point season, I would never have guessed. Mike Milbury. He beat uh, the fan with his own shoe. Famous clip. So, yeah. There's Butch going before he came over to the Islanders. I think he should be in the Hall of Fame personally, but he's not yet. Um, 
There's those Atlanta Flame jerseys. Now there's one of the retired from active playing. Lots of long hair, lots of mullets. Lots of doubles here. There's a really cool uh, goalie mask. There's barely anything there. Like it's so, imagine getting hit in the face. Wayne Cashman, the captain of the Bruins. Solid career there. Bob Bourne, four cups. There's another Dale McCourt. Uh, Lucien Deblois, rookie card. Brian Spencer, I think he has an interesting story. I might have mentioned that before. Lots of problems. Dennis Marouk, okay, this guy is on the 60 goal list. There's only 20 some odd players to get 60 and he's one of them. Paul Woods, what's your numbers like? Not bad. Jim Lorenz, I think he's the Sabres announcer. There's Butch Goring. Lots of doubles here, but I have two bricks of these. I'm thinking at least 550 cards. So far, no big names, but that's to be expected. Hence the price. I think this whole batch will cost me uh, $44 for everything. Yep. Stefan Pearson, this guy won four cups with the Islanders too. This is his rookie card. Funny enough, I have this card graded. I have all the Islander uh, rookies from the Cup Dynasty graded, including Bob Nystrom. He, he scored the overtime winner for the first cup. These uh, centering is, issues are hilarious. Bill Height, that's how you pronounce it. Gary Unger. Pretty, pretty good point totals. 41 goals, 42. This is very repetitive so far, but that's okay. Ian Turnbull. Yep. Steve Vickers. What are your points like, buddy? See, that's another guy. Look at that. 89 points, 83. Never heard of him. All right. Mike Milbury again. Getting a lot of repeats, but that's fine. Just going to go through. I still have this stack and another big stack. Islanders, Drew in. Tom Lysiak, I think he had a big suspension uh, for tripping a referee on purpose. Kind of funny. I think it was 20-ish games back in the day. <laughs> I have to look that up. Dennis Ochar, interesting name. Mel Bridgman. There's Lee Fogel, and he was a uh, captain of the Oilers in Gretzky's first year or two. Dave Farish again. There's a, looks like a backup goalie that day. Look at that, he's carrying his mask. Look at this little tiny mask that he's carrying in his hand. There's nothing to it, that's comical. There he is again. A 
in the last stack now. Dick Redmond now with Bruins. Yeah, lots of doubles, lots of doubles. Paul Harrison again. Be cool to find like a Dion or Lafleur, or Bobby Clark, or something like that. Probably not going to happen. Maybe in the next pile, in the next video. Bob Nystrom. Okay, we have one more little stack here. Paul Gardner. I think he was decent too. I think he played for Pittsburgh. There's Ron Ellis. Pretty long career. He, uh, yeah, he's at the Leafs there. Pierre Mondu. Remember that name from when I was a kid. Hold on. Okay. Had a knock at my door. So yeah, that's it for my first stack. Or my first brick, I should say. Very repetitive, but again, dirt cheap. Um, fun. Looking back at some of these common players that you don't really get to see or hear about. So yeah, I'll be back with... Uh, this brick in part two. Cheers.